So hello everyone. So welcome to our presentation. My name is Luan Bing Quan and this is Zhuang. We come from Hanoi University of Science and Technology and we will talk about our experience and life in uh, post tech as I change theory. Yeah. So first uh, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, how is like uh, life in post tech so you for, for me it's uh, from just like one week in post tech uh, like I can easily see that uh, post tech is a really like uh, a convenient and a compact life here well you can see in the map here uh, the dormitory is uh, where we stay uh, where we stay and then uh, the, the science building is uh, where we take our lectures and then it's uh, it's just a short walk about uh, 10 minutes uh, also uh, if you want to have some uh, uh, smart activities you can go to the bus we have basketball the fossil and tennis and also a swimming pool around around here and uh, if uh, if you want to uh, have uh, to go to have some supplies we can go to the uh, convenience store uh, ne next like next to the dormitories, and then uh, the cafeteria is also there. So uh, it's it's a, a really short, uh, really short time from the dormitories. Uh, so this is actually really useful, especially for the uh, the uh, the, the uh, exam period, because uh, everything is uh, uh, very close together, and you don't have to spend uh, much time to worry about these things. And then another uh, thing that I found really convenient is the, actually the uh, self-ordering and self-checkout system in post -tech. For example, we have the self-ordering in the cafeteria, self-checkout in the library, and in the convenience store. So you don't have to rely, rely on everyone. And this is a really fast and convenient way. So if you, if uh, uh, these facilities in post is not enough, you can always go to the north uh, for this block came up. It's a very big big supermarket where you can find uh, all sorts of things. And then, uh, or you can go to the south, to the Hyo Hyo Jia market, uh, to enjoy like uh, the Korean lifestyle here. But uh, keep in mind that if you go to the Hyo Jia market, you will have to know some basics of uh, uh, the Korean uh, co career complications, but uh, don't worry because if you join the UIP student, you will have the chance uh, to uh, study uh, Korean, so it's not really a big problem. Yeah. So next, let's talk about uh, the uh, facilities in uh, post-tech. So uh, post-tech uh, is a university that, uh, which is, is a, the, the university has the best facilities that I have ever been from the, is in, in the left side here, you can see that uh, uh, this is like a TM image. It's, it's a microscope that can see image up to atoms. So by joining this lab uh, uh, in my research activities, I have a chance uh, to like, uh, partially use uh, this device. And by using this device, it helped me to understand my subjects uh, uh, um, subject uh, in the fundamental level and it makes the subjects uh, very interesting and much more boring to me. So another thing about very famous about post techs is on the light you can see is the Pohang Accelerator Laboratories. It's uh, actually the the only accelerator in, in Korea and one of uh, one of the few accelerator in the world and uh, you can see there are two main parts, a linear accelerator, which is a long building here, and the circular accelerator, is, you can see, is a round building here. And then, although I don't have a chance to use uh, these uh, laboratories, uh, but I have uh, a, trip for, a trip to there for visiting. And uh, this accelerator is actually is related to one of my subjects, so uh, I find it like really uh, interesting and if you help me understand my uh, subject at school more. Yeah, so what about 
so what you can learn about what are the content that you can learn in post tech uh, so uh, most of the most of the subject in post tech actually in uh, English so there are a variety of subjects you can choose from so when uh, coming coming to post tech as an exchange student one of my main concern is uh, what subject I can study uh, what equivalent subject I can study so that my progress as, a uh, as my home university uh, can uh, can continue. But when coming to post tech, I find that uh, uh, studying the subject that is not available in my home city is uh, more interesting to me. So in post tech, you find many, many subjects that is not only available here. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, from not only from, uh, from uh, our main department, but from other departments, and also from the graduate program. There are also many laboratory class you can actually attend, so the, uh, you have uh, uh, many choice to study in post-tech here. And then, uh, one of the, uh, and then as I said before, uh, many, uh, almost all subject here is a study is study in uh, is teach in English and for my impression the professor in, in post tech has really good English so language is not really a problem here. Yes, sometimes the professor will talk in Korean but afterward uh, they will explain again in English so that's fine. Okay, then uh, can in here you can also have a chance to collaborate with other students from from Korea and from, the, from another countries. For example, in the right you can see this is my material uh, characterization class. There's uh, both Koreans, me as a UHGIP student and another exchange student from, uh, from other countries. In this class, uh, we, we have a, a group project to talk about, for example, for twisted bilayer graphene and we have to make a video about it. So for me, it's not only a chance to, I, uh, oh, the, we, we uh, not only learn about the, uh, the academic side, but we have to make, also make the video about it. So it will be like much more skill. And then I can have a chance to work with Koreans. And for my impressions, questions, uh, Korean students are like always uh, meet the deadline and their works are short but concise. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that is about uh, the uh, collaborative, uh, collaborative learning. So let's continue to talk about, about more aspects about the academic life. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I will, I'm going to talk about the uh, academic aspect of both tech because we are all students. Uh, first of all, the class here is uh, concise and uh, good, have very good material. As you can see here, all of my class, they have the plan for midterm for assignment. So we just can look at the plan and uh, make our own plan of working for our class. Second is that this is one of my undergraduate school and uh, that course I have the chance to study about a conference paper. So the class here is uh, very up to date. This is 2021, very, very close to our research today. And an, another chance of me is it, uh, I have to, I, I, I work with professor and uh, as you can see here, it is uh, about NLP, uh, chat GBT recently, and this is the class in 2023. Uh, as you can see here, uh, in 2024, it's gonna be different. So the pro pro professor here and the class here is very up to date, up to the lat latest technology of outside in, in our world. Uh, next is our assignment inside class. So we have real world application uh, to apply to our uh, assignment. Uh, and we can also ap apply a research paper to do our uh, assignment. Uh, this one is pretty old, but it is still a very valuable experience for me to study about the old research paper and compare to our new up-to-date research. 
uh, but it is also work hard to solve the randomized score. So it is not that good, but it is a very humble ex experience of me to study here. And it is an honorable for us to have Ms. Kwon. Uh, she is not here, but she is our current teacher, and uh, we do learn about, did learn about current class. We did team up, and we also make our own team up too. So it is a very good uh, experience. And I, I also again want to mention Ms. Kwon, our current teacher, who is very nice, that have us study current and uh, provide us very good current ex experience. And both sides also have so many fasc fascinating events too. This is the screaming day. The day before our final exam, they're going to have screaming day for students to release the stress. So this is very nice. And they also have a, a lot of e e events for us. And we have so many exchange students that join their club and do the uh, dancing, um, singing. Yeah, so th that is our in international student. We have our GYB, we have our European friend, we have our American friend. So it is uh, a international environment. And that is our uh, presentation today. Thank you for listening.